So, uh, let us try and see if we can. Uh, so, now uh, our ring is Noetherian, uh, A is Noetherian. And uh, suppose I have an ideal I. Uh, be an ideal proper ideal okay then we know that it's uh, uh, it has a primary decomposition so let i be equal to intersection q i i from 1 to n where q i's are primary ideals let uh, the radical of q i be equal to p i okay. prime ideals. So, what we have already seen is that q 1, q 2 up to q n need not be uniquely determined, because yesterday we saw x square comma x y has decomposition x intersection x square comma y and uh, another decomposition is x intersection x square comma x y comma y square. So, we the components need not be uniquely determined. So, uh, suppose I have a suppose I have an element x, x in A. Okay. Uh, then, what can you say about i colon x? This is intersection q i colon x i from 1 to n and that is equal to the property of colons and intersection this is equal to intersection q i colon x. Okay. So, I have I have this ideal q i colon x. Okay. Uh, again, if if uh, if x is in q i, then this is uh, q i colon x is equal to a. Suppose x is not in q i. Yeah. X is not in q i. Uh, so, okay. The question is here. I have a I have an ideal i and I have uh, an intersection here. Whether these are all irreducible ideals, if they are all irreducible, then this will be a primary decomposition of this ideal. Right? So, therefore, the question is whether these are all irreducibles. Now, we know that in Noetherian these are all uh, I mean irreducibles are primary. Okay. So, let us see if uh, we can say that this is primary or not. See if they are primary then this will this will again give me a primary decomposition. Whether this is uni I mean minimal decomposition or, or not that will come up later, but first whether this is primary or not. So, the question is whether then is q i intersection x primary ideal. Let us let us see if uh, y belongs to q i intersection x uh, q i colon x that implies that x y is in q i 
and we are assuming that x is not in q i and that implies that y power n is in q i for some i. So, uh, yeah, so that would imply that y power n is in q i in I mean colon x because it is q i is contained in q i colon x. So, therefore, this says that q i colon x is primary. What is its radical? if x is not in q i. So, let us look at the radical of q i colon x. What would this be? This would be, okay. so let us say, uh, so let us let us look at an ideal uh, an element y in q i colon x radical of this that implies y power n belongs to q i colon x and that would imply that x y power n belongs to q i and x is not in q i x is not in q i and that would imply that some another power of y will be in q i, but this implies that y is in the radical of q i which is p i. So, therefore, radical of q i colon x is contained in p i. What about the converse inclusion? p i equal to q i uh, radical of q i. This is contained in radical of q i colon x, right. Ideal is contained in the colon. So, therefore, p i is contained in the radical of q i colon x and here we have proved that q i colon x is contained in p i. So, that implies that So, if x is not in q i, these are all p i primary ideals again. Okay. So, what is that we have proved here now? I take an arbitrary element x okay, and look at look at the colon i colon x then i colon x is this intersection of q i colon x and for each x not in q i this is p i primary or in other words this is primary decomposition of this ideal. Uh, now, Suppose your decomposition, primary decomposition is minimal. Uh, did I define what is a minimal primary decomposition? No, okay. So, I mean minimal is what could possibly be minimal in this uh, in the natural sense that there are no redundant components here in the sense that no q i is contained in the intersection of the rest of the q j's. Then it is called a minimal decomposition or it is even called irredundant decomposition. So, let me define what is a primary decomposition i equal to intersection q i i from 1 to n is said to be 
a minimal decomposition if q i does not contain intersection of q j j naught equal to i. For each i from 1 to Okay. Because I mean, none of them is redundant. I mean, if q i, if for say, for example, if q 1 contains the intersection of q 2 up to q n, then that q n, q 1 does not play any role because q 1 intersection, the rest will be the other part q 2 up to q n. So, therefore, q 1 does not play any role, we do not really need it. So, suppose I write this as a minimal decomposition. Then what does this say? See, if it is a minimal decomposition for each i, this does not contain this the rest of the intersection. What does that say? There exists an element here which is not here, right. So, if i equal to intersection q i, i from 1 to n, uh, is a minimal primary decomposition then for each i there exists x i in the intersection of q i i not equal to j uh, q j j not i and x i is not in q i because for each i this is not contain this does not contain the intersection of this. Then what happens to this i colon x x i this is okay let me just write down this q i uh, okay so let me write use a different symbol q j colon x i j from 1 to n but now if j is not equal to i what would this be whole of a because x i is contained in q j for all j not equal to i so therefore q j colon x i would be only q i and only q uh, q j colon x i would be a for all j not equal to i and uh, the only component proper component here would be q i colon x i. This would be equal to q i colon x i and we know that this is a primary ideal and this is a uh, p i primary ideal. Okay. So, what we have what we are seeing here is that for each i if I take a minimal decomposition okay, for each i there exists a p i primary component. if I take a minimal primary com, uh, ideal, there exists a p i primary component. How, what, uh, see this is independent of your primary decomposition, right. However, you take primary decomposition, if I take this proper ideals in this collection, Okay. proper ideals in this collection, these are the ideals which will be maximal, right. If I take all the proper ideals of this form, 
i colon x where x varies over a. I look at all the proper ideals. These are the maximal elements of that set. Because if x is in two of them, if x is in x is uh, in i, then this would be a. If x is not in i, that means it is missing from some of these components. If it is missing from only one and involved in the uh, included in all others, this will be the ideal. I call an xi will be precisely this. If it is involved in more than one component, this will be intersection, there will be more. So, these are the maximal elements. So, if I consider the set, set uh, S equal to set of all uh, J proper ideals of A such that J is equal to I colon X for some X in A. I consider this set, then these are all maximal elements of the set S. So, therefore, the primary components we do not have control on q i as such, but what we have the control we have is radical of j is prime ideal. These are maximal ideal maximal elements in this set and what would be radical of this? Radical of this is p i. So, the prime ideals are unique because they are. So, if I ok. So, now if I look at uh, slightly if I modify this set instead of S if I write the following set radical J where J is a proper ideal and J equal to i colon x for some x. I look at this collection, then p i's are the maximal elements of maximal elements of s. So, the primary components need not be uniquely determined, but the prime ideals associated with the primary decomposition are uniquely determined. Because see if I look at this, this description, this description has nothing to do with the primary decomposition. depending on see that will dip again depend on x right where x is. Yeah, it has a primary decomposition that comes from being uh, the ring being noetherian Each component should be, uh, if it is prime uh, if it is proper. If x belongs to one of the primary components that will become whole ring. If it is a proper ideal then yes. So, this description does not say anything about the primary uh, uh, decomposition. This will always be. So, let me uh, uh, write down this is called first uniqueness theorem. Let i equal to intersection q i i from 1 to n be a uh, be a minimal primary decomposition of I then 
radical of qi, qis are uh, are precisely the ideals, the prime ideals in the set S radical of i colon x where x varies over a. So, here uh, what we proved let me just bring it in uh, one line the proofs. So, here <coughs> we have what we have proved I and mean, what we are saying is that radical of q i s the radicals are or the prime ideals are uniquely determined because they come from the prime elements here. So, from there what we have shown is that if x belongs to uh, all except one primary ideal then this is a prime ideal. Okay. So, this any p i will be here. Okay. Now, we are saying that they are precisely the prime ideals here. Suppose, radical of i colon x this is a prime ideal. Suppose, this what does that say? That says that uh, see we want to say that p is equal to uh, yeah p is equal to radical of q i for some i, but now what is this radical of so i is q i right q i colon x. Uh, so, let p is equal to radical of intersection q i colon x, but this is equal to radical of intersection of q i colon x. Now, radical of i intersection j is radical of i intersection radical of j, these are all finite by the way. So, this is equal to intersection of radical of q i colon x, but we have uh, shown that if x is not in uh, q i this has to be a p i primary ideal therefore, radical this is equal to intersection p i. So, x not in q i. intersection of those prime ideals for which x is not there in q i. P is equal to a finite intersection of prime ideals. Properties of prime ideal says that P has to be one of them. So, any prime ideal is there in this set that we showed there and if p is any prime ideal of this form then p has to be one of those. So, the prime ideals which are radicals of the primary ideals in, uh, involved in the primary decomposition are unique, they are uniquely determined that is the uniqueness we have. Is this clear? See yeah, Q -Q 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 -Q. yeah this is this is 
Sorry? No, I am saying, see what we want to say that these are PIs are precisely the prime ideals in this set. There we proved that any PI belongs to the set because if you take an element x which is there in all qj's except qi then i colon that x will give me qi colon x and its radical will be pi. So, therefore, any pi is here. Now, we want to show that if a prime occurs in this form it has to be one of those. It cannot be any other prime, but it has to be one of those p i's that is what we are showing here. So, I start with suppose i colon x is p. Now, I am writing i, i is this. Okay. So, I write i p equal to i colon x, i is this, I substitute i equal to intersection q i. Now, I use the properties of colon and radical that is all and then use the properties of prime ideals p equal to finite interse intersection of prime ideals prime ideals therefore it has to be equal to one of them okay so this is uh, one uniqueness property that we have so the prime ideals Uh, suppose i is equal to intersection q i, i from 1 to n and radical of q i is equal to p i. Okay. Then <coughs> the prime ideals, the set, uh, the ideals or the set is called prime ideals associated to i or a mod i. In fact, there is another way to look at is as we said earlier for every ideal ideal has primary decomposition is uh, you can go modulo i and talk about primary decomposition of the 0 ideal. So, if you look at think of this as 0 ideal uh, I mean the primary decomposition. So, this will be primary decomposition of 0 in this one. Okay. So, uh, basically one uses one gen, when one generalizes the uh, this to the case of modules what one uses is the primary decomposition of 0 and that is why. So, this set is called this set is denoted by the associated primes of a mod i. Okay. Uh, so, this a writing a mod i is because we are <coughs> there, is, there are there is another uh, way to look at this is that see these are the prime ideals that occur as radical of i colon x or in other words in a mod i these are the prime ideals that occur as radical of 0 colon x or in other words these are prime ideals which are assassins of you know which kills x some powers kills x. So, therefore, this is uh, that is that is in fact another reason for the notation ASS assassins or association associated primes. Now, in this in this set for example, if I have i equal to x square comma x y 
this is x intersection x square comma y right. So, the associated primes of this a mod i this is x and x y. The primary components you do not have such an inclusion the, this is a primary component this is a primary component this none of them contain the other. But then here we have x is p 1 is contained in p 2. Okay. In such situation p 1 the minimal elements of this set is called isolated components and the rest is called embedded components. The minimal associated primes are called uh, isolated primary components. Uh, isolated prime ideals and the other prime ideals are called embedded prime ideals, uh, embedded associated prime, isolated associated prime ideals. So, these are not simply prime ideals, but associated. So, in this case, this is isolated primes and this is an isolated prime and this is an embedded prime. The terminology isolated and embedded uh, comes from geometry. So, when we take an ideal that corresponds to a variety in, uh, in the corresponding polynomial uh, in the corresponding uh, affine space and that will the primary decomposition gives rise to a irreducible uh, decomposition of the variety in the sense you can write it as union of uh, sub varieties these the isolated components are the irreducible component uh, uh, as a varieties whose union is the original variety and uh, the embedded components are the sub varieties of these irreducible so that that you know we will probably i'll uh, uh, come back to this after uh, doing what is called nelsonza because to understand the connection between variety uh, defined by q i and p i, we need uh, Nelson-Stelzer. I will I'll come back to that. So, this uh, gives me uh, some kind of uniqueness. Uh, now, if I have suppose I take any prime ideal if p is a prime ideal ok. Uh, some you know observations uh, related to the uh, primary decomposition. If p is a prime ideal then what does that say that says that p contains intersection of q i i from 1 to n and that implies radical of p again equal to radical of p which contains intersection of so radical of the intersection which is intersection of the radicals q i which is intersection of p i. That means, 
P contains intersection of all these are finite that implies P contains P i for some i. What does it say? If a prime ideal contains i, then one of the associated primes is contained in that prime ideal. If i is contained in P, then there exists some associated prime which is contained in P. Okay. So, uh, that is one easy observation. Now, if I look at suppose I take a uh, take the primary decomposition of uh, 0 ideal in a ring A. So, in an I mean we are all I mean, uh, we are in Noetherian ring case. So, every ideal has a primary decomposition unique uh, sorry uh, every ideal has a minimal primary decomposition okay, which with uh, some uniqueness property as we proved. So, suppose this is a minimal uh, primary decomposition, okay. then what does it say? There exists, so suppose I uh, and uh, q i equal to uh, sorry radical of q i equal to p i. Now, what are the uh, suppose if I have, uh, so what are pi's? Pi's are precisely the radical of zero colon x for some x, right? That's we have. That's what we have proved now. So if I take any zero divisor, if a in a is a zero divisor. So, that means, okay, so first observation is that which means if A is in P i for some i, then A is a 0 divisor because A is in P i means A power n annihilates x that that means a annihilates a power n minus 1 x therefore a is a zero device okay now so every element of pi is a zero device now suppose a in a is a zero device This means that A belongs to, this implies that A belongs to uh, 0 colon x for some x in A. Right? But then See what we indeed showed there was that the prime ideals in uh, in the in the zero colon x or i colon x they are the maximal elements of this set. Right. So therefore, there exists a prime ideal that is that contains this one in the set. S that we described earlier. So, this implies that A belongs to P i for some associated prime So, what we have shown is that the set of all if I take Z of A to be the set of all 
0 device sets of if this is z of a denotes the set of all 0 divisors of a, then this is precisely equal to union p i, i from 1 to n. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe I will uh, repeat this. See, if I take a in 0 called x, okay, what is 0? 0 is 0 colon x is intersection of q i colon x, right. So, a is here. Now, this is equal to, yeah, I mean I will just write like this q i colon x. So, what we have shown earlier is that if x is not in q i, then q i colon x is a, uh, this is a p i primary ideal, right. So, that means a belongs to q i colon x. Huh. No, see this is see if if x is not in q i, then this is a this is p i primary, right. Now, this says that a belongs to 0 colon x implies that A is in some of these, see x is non-zero. That means, it is not there in at least in one q i. Okay. So, that means, this x belong, I mean A belongs to, uh, A belongs to one of those q i colon x, where x is not there. So, therefore, that for a, a belongs to that prime ideal. We can say that A belongs to at least that prime ideal. Okay. See, A, a is here. Since x is non-zero, x belongs to, x does not belong to q i for some i, because the intersection of q i is 0. x is non-zero means x is not. In. So, this implies that A belongs to q i colon uh, q i colon x, which is contained in P i. So, so, what we are showing is that, so what we have shown is that z of A is union P i, i from 1 to the 0 divisors are precisely the union of all associated primes. 0 divisors of A are precisely the union of all associated primes. What is intersection of all q i? Okay. Now, what is, so there is a nice uh, observation here. What is nil radical of A? What is nil radical of A? By definition, this is set of all nil potents or by characterization, this is set of all prime ideals, intersection of all prime ideals. But now, we proved something here. If P is a prime ideal containing I, then there exists an associated prime ideal which is contained in P. So, if I take any prime ideal here, it will contain an associated prime of 0, right. It will contain an associated prime of 0. 
that means in this intersection there would be only associated primes and among them you can further reduce if I have this situation I do not need to look at this one I only need to look at the isolated primes. So, I can write I where P i is P i is an isolated associated prime. Suppose I have a, a primary decomposition of I and S is a multiplicative set, then what would this be? What would be the? So, again I am in Noetherian ring, suppose I am in Noetherian ring and uh, I is an ideal. So, therefore, I has a primary decomposition. Uh, now, look at a multiplicative set S, S inverse what should be S inverse I. So, what, what, what is that one would be expecting? It is we would probably expect that S inverse I is equal to S inverse Q I, but then you have to prove a few things. What would be S inverse Q I? S inverse Q I is it same as uh, I mean when would this be equal to the whole ring when would this be equal to uh, when this would this be a proper ideal and if it is a proper ideal will it be a primary ideal if it is a primary ideal is the radical same as what is suppose S inverse Q i is primary what would you expect its radical be. S inverse Q i uh, yeah you would expect that radical of it is S inverse P i. Okay. So, we have to prove or verify check whether all these things are true we will do that tomorrow.